G'day and welcome back to the Psycho Channel. Now, today we're going to have a look at the electrical issues on a YZ. This is a YZ450. Um, uh, now, they're all pretty similar. So, what it is, is the parts of it is the kill switch, the CDI, the coil, uh, the ignition coil, and the stator. So, I'm going to bring you in close and show you each one of them. So, what I've done. I've got a board and this board is laid out and what I've done is I've gone back to the uh, supply, the actual manufacturer and I've asked them for the ohms readings of the actual components. So I've got the ohms readings for the ignition coil and the stator. So over here we have the button which is the kill switch and the CDI. The CDI is the last thing uh, so don't worry about it until the very last thing because it's most likely there's going to be one of the other things that's the issue. All right I'm going to pause this for a second I'm going to show you how to diagnose the kill switch. Another thing with this if you're going to do this yourself and you want to try doing it get a board. So a board like this and just write down the components and what you need to measure. So it gives you the readings here and you can just tick or cross them off. And it makes it very simple to go back and um, make sure you've done everything. All right, so now we'll go to the kill switch. So with the kill switch, what they say is, all you do is hold down the button and measure between the two terminals. Now you'll get a, what I use is the actual, um, uh, the sound on the actual multimeter. And I'll show you how I do it. So, so it's a bit of a pain because you've got to have your hands and multimeter at the same time. But there's a little, a little option on there which is that it makes a buzzing noise when you touch the terminals together. That's what you want. All right. So you put that there, and to test, see whether the buzzing is working, you just touch them together. You hear the buzzing. All right. So. Now what you want to do is uh, plug the black wire in and the red one, touch it against it. Now when I press the button, I'm getting a buzzing. So that says to me that, or oh, well, the manufacturers as well, that there's nothing wrong with that kill switch. Okay? Alright, so that's part one. So now we can eliminate that as one of the issues. All right, so now we're going to come to the ignition coil. Uh, the ignition coil is the second part, just here. And they've given us the readings and that there. All right, so this is the color of the actual um, wires on it. So I've, what I do is I put the, it's orange and black. So above the orange, I put a plus, because that's what they refer to. And above the black, I've put a minus. So these are the readings we're looking for. All right, so, so it's 0 0.8 first. So what you'll find is the, if you just sit the terminals together, you can see the orange is on the right-hand side. Okay, so now you turn, turn the actual multimeter to ohms. I put it on 2,000 ohms first. And I connect the positive. and the negative. So now on the readings, I am getting a little bit fiddly because they're the terminals. So. so what I'm getting is a, a zero, zero, 001 see the, the decimal point is supposed to be the next one over so what I do you turn the you turn the actual um, ohms back up a little bit more so it's 20k and you'll see it's fiddly as uh, you'll see that the dots in the right place so now I'm only getting one uh, 0 0.1 and they state that it's supposed to be 0 0.8 to, to 1.0. So 
So mine's mine's actually out. It's it's way too low. So that's the first that's the um, first issue. So now I've ticked, I've crossed that off as a fault. Okay. So now I'll go to the next point they state, and they state that um, the orange wire, the plus on the orange wire, and the spark plug terminal, which is the where the spark plug goes in, should read between four and six to six and eight. Now I've already checked this and it's come up come up uh, okay. Now I'll do it again just to show you. So we know the orange is the right one, so I stick that on the orange one and the bottom of the actual uh, terminal. Alright, so so you'll see if it does nothing, it's most likely you've got the readings on the wrong point, the actual ohms. So I'll go down the ohms again. And there's nothing, so I go down the ohms a bit more, and that's in the 200 range. So there is still nothing there. So let's go back up. Okay, so now what I've got, I'm, it's actually in the range. It's 5.1. So that in itself is saying there's nothing wrong with that point. So. Uh, the fault though with this coil is in the first winding and the um, first reading. All right, so I know I've got an issue with that coil and they're really delicate, so try not to drop them. All right, so now I'll go to, over to the stator and they've given me the readings for the stator. All right, so now with the stator, I am going to go uh, with the stator. Now it says on here green and black reads between 720 to 1000. Alright so you put the first thing I usually do with this is beforehand is I'll put it on the buzzer again and I'll go from each of these wires so it's brown to brown um, green to green and make sure that there's a connection so there's no short between this point and the actual wire. So I do that with every one of them to make sure that there's no shorts. And you'll hear a buzzing noise. So the six wires you do it with, and then what you do is go from what they state here, green to uh, green to brown. So I'll go on green and brown. Uh, this is the common one that goes to, for some reason, the middle two terminals. So mine's the middle two of the um, green and brown. So I put on the green and brown. And there is literally nothing on green and brown. So the two outer wind, which the green and brown are, the two outer windings, they're literally already gone. Now, with the, I'll put across there because I already checked that. Now, uh, black and pink. I put on the black and pink. And with the black and pink, that is coming up within range. And then, last of all, I put it with the red and white. And the red and white's coming up as it's supposed to be in range. So that's the way that you go through Diagnosing the issue with the uh, YZ wiring system. And like I stated to you, make make a board up because it makes it very easy to look back at it and go, okay, I've got an issue here, I can double check it. So now I know from for a fact because I've already checked all this, my issue is the coil's only at point one where it should be at point eight above and above and below ten. And the other thing is the two outer windings on the actual stutter are zero, so there's nothing at all. So somewhere in these two windings, there's a break. And that is how you diagnose the issues with the wiring on a YZ. And they're all pretty similar. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.